Hey, what's happening YouTube? This is Chucky with Chucky Monsters Garage uh, with an update on the Kenworth W900 Wrecker. For the truck, the group truck build we've got going on here, so... Uh, hey guys, I've actually made some progress this time, so... So, uh... Yeah, I've actually got all the stuff sanded, everything's primered. Uh, I even got some stuff painted. I got color on stuff, guys. I mean, I'm actually... I'm actually building some stuff, so, and I'm doing it, you know, just to, so I can get some of the clear on it and stuff, but, but, uh, yeah, let's, let's take a look-see at this, guys. Let's take a real quick look. I just kept the box up there so you guys get something to look at while I babble on about crap, so. Uh, there's no clear on this yet, so, this is the color I, I chose for it. I went with like a, a gold color. And again, there's no clear on it, so let me get this quarter out of the way. Pink came out really, really nice. I don't want to get my fingerprints all over it, because then when I clear it, it's going to fish eye or something. I've got, I've got this all built. I built it all up sanded it made sure it's all you know nice and clean so i mean everything's built even the bottom's painted and so yeah i got this done i'm got some more color stuff i went ahead and i went ahead and put these together um and the hydraulic inside i i went ahead and uh did it I stripped the uh, I stripped the chrome off and I rechromed it myself, so I taped it all back up so I can put this together and sand this all down and uh, paint it, and then I'm gonna clear it, and then I'll take this off and then I'll have the Ushi powder clear our chrome on there, so it actually looks really good. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna keep it taped until I clear it, and I'll take it off, and then voila. So that's how I did that. Uh, and, I, and I chose to go ahead and build everything out. You know, this whole thing built it all the way out before I I, uh, I painted it. And I'm glad I did because I had some issues that I had to go ahead and sand again. Yeah, guys, sand, 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 you know. I've been sanding this thing for, seems to be forever. Uh, but it, it did come out really, really nice so far. I mean, I'm really, really happy with it. And it's building good. Everything's good, you know. I like it. So, again, there's some more of the, the painted parts. I shouldn't really have them touching each other. But they're all dry, so. I'm thinking about, uh... I'm thinking about building, building some more of it. There's some more primer stuff, like the motor and the seats and the cab interior and stuff and, and then these are the things that I'm gonna re-chrome so I stripped the chrome off of this stuff and there's the tanks back there I'm gonna go ahead and re-chrome it some of the stuff that so far I chose to keep in chrome I've got it all in here this stuff that I'm not gonna use with the model so so uh, I'm not using all those decals either so I bought some other ones so yeah that's Kind of where I'm at with that. So some more uh, painted stuff. I'm gonna start building this, and then I'll clear on the outsides of this stuff. Um, there's the boom firewall over there. Looks like the boom stand and all that crane stand or whatever you want to call it. Some of the black primered stuff. So that's how I do my stuff. I, I just primer what colors I want to do. And I usually try to do the paint on the body first. And then I get it all clear. And that way the clear is curing at the same time I'm doing everything else. And then I just go ahead and wet sand everything. And, and then when I'm done with that, I bare metal foil, put the windows in, and detail, detail, detail. That's how I do mine. I mean, there's no wrong way, I guess. I mean, I just do mine that way, so. But, uh... I'm actually happy with this. It's building good. So, so far, it, it it's 
it's building pretty good. So, uh, I did take a trip to Andy's Hobby Headquarters this weekend, and I did buy something. Uh, well, I bought two kits and some gloss black paint for the Ushi powder, but, uh, and I did dig in my stash, and I'm considering building this. Here, let me grab it here, so I'm, I'm moving a little bit much, so I'm sorry, guys, so. I'm considering building this pretty soon. I haven't built one of these. I, a friend of mine won it in a raffle, and and uh, he said, oh, I'm never going to build it. You want to build it? And I said, eh, yeah, I'll give it a shot, you know. So I'm considering building this. Eh, maybe. I, I just got to see what kind of mood I'm in when I, when I, uh, when I finish this semi, so this wrecker here. Uh, that, that's, that's a consideration. What I usually do when I consider building something is I stick it like right here and I'll get to looking at it. It makes me think about what I want to do to it. And by the end of building this, you know, I either my mind's burnt out on thinking about that. And then I grab something else or I've thought about some good stuff and, and, uh, and I ended up just going at it, you know, but uh, that's how I, my brain works, I guess. Everybody works a little different, but here's a uh, something I bought at Andy's. I bought this GTR, this Nissan. I bought this over there, and I'll do some kit reviews. I keep saying that, guys. I'm sorry, but and I and I do plan on doing a kit review, maybe even this weekend. So I'm thinking uh, this is gonna be a pretty sick kit. You know, it's gonna be pretty nice. And, and again, I'm into trying to do different stuff. I also thought about building one of these, one of them Harleys up there. Back there is the police bike, the one six, the Bat Boys there, and I got the the FLH Classic with the sidecar sitting there. So I thought about doing that, and I so I don't I don't know. I got a lot of things running through my head, but feeling inspired, guys. But here's my case. I cleaned that all up yesterday. So, I got a, uh, there's some hardware there. Huh? Uh, I got some cars that I'm bringing to the next show here. I'm bringing some of them. A friend of mine went to the Philippines and picked me up some stuff there. But yeah. Yeah, this it's my own truck there. I like that a lot. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know why I'm looking at that stuff, but oh yeah, I told you guys I thought about building one of them. So anyway, so I bought this. That's one thing I bought, and I bought this, guys. Okay, so I wanted one of these, so. I picked one of these up. He had a few of them, so I went ahead and picked one up. I wasn't going to, and then the wife was like, yeah, pick one up, you know, so I ain't going to argue with her, you know. She's the boss, so. Uh, and I haven't opened it. It's still got the plastic on it, and see that? It's got the plastic on it. And I ain't going to open it until I can show everybody, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep it sealed until I can show you guys, so. But that 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 will make me do some uh, kit reviews, like I keep saying I'm gonna do. So anyway, uh, this video is running on ten minutes, so I am sorry I'm taking up ten minutes of your time, guys. I'm gonna get going, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get on this uh, this big rig, get some stuff done while I have the time. So. Uh, you guys all have a good night and a rest of your week, and maybe I'll talk to you guys this weekend. All right? Everybody take care, and I'm out. Bye.